Welcome back to another episode of the Streetwise English Podcast, where we help you improve your listening and English speaking skills. Today I have a special guest, Matt Gibson, who is also known as AKA the Voice of God. He has a very soothing voice and he always has an inspirational message to share with the listeners. So I hope you enjoy this. Without further ado, let's get started. We're here with Matt Gibson, and uh, we're in Los Angeles, and we were just chatting about um, the average television viewing time by Americans, and Matt wants to share with us some of his thoughts on this, and uh, here, here, passing the mic to you, Matt. All right. Well, the idea being that we all are watching far too much television. Um, television, on average, is the, the average is oh, well over three hours a day for the average person. That means some people are not watching at all, and some people are watching six and seven hours a day. And um, this, the average, I understand, is a little over three hours. Now, three and a half hours a, d- a day is 24 waking hours in a week. That means that is 52 waking days in a year that a person is sitting in front of television. Television is largely a medium to popularize violence. And I would argue that with anyone and debate it with anyone because if you flick around of the myriad television stations that are available to us now, I defy you to to find three. If you look at 50, I, I would test you and defy you to find three that did not have something relating to some sort of violence. Even the cartoons are also have the same um, same tendency to depict violence in an entertaining way. Violence is not television. Television is n- violence is not it's not entertainment. Violence is television but it is not entertainment. We shouldn't allow ourselves to be entertained by seeing the most awful things that the writers can come up with depicted in brilliant color, you know, with the finest actors and the best sets. It has popularized violence to the point where people are largely desensitized to it. The truth is, if a person were to devote that same amount of time, three hours a day, to any other enterprise, to improving their language skills, improving their ability to read, working on learning an, a, a, a musical instrument or a new language. Um, in 30 computer, computer programming, code writing, if you devoted three hours a day for just 30 days, if you could turn off the television for just a mere 30 days and stop scrolling and put the phone away, turn it off, there's magic in pressing the off button on your electronic devices. There is magic in turning them off. You press that off button on your television and the room once again is in your province. If you turn off your your cell phone (coughs) and are and don't and have no notifications coming in you will you will be in a way freed we are tied to these things. We become addicted and chained to them. Addiction is, human beings are addictive in every aspect of their lives. They tend to go the same places, travel the same routes, eat the same foods. We're highly susceptible to habitual behavior and pushing that button to turn on television and sitting there, sitting there allowing others to input strange and bizarre, murderous, and violent ideas into our heads and our children's heads. They are innocent. They, violence has become normalized. So my suggestion is take a 30-day break from television. Just 30 days. You can do that. Turn it off for 30 days and pick two or three projects that you've always wanted to do, things you've wanted to learn, um, a musical instrument you've always wanted to explore. Devote a lousy 30 days to it. Turn off the television and devote that amount of time to it, and you will be shocked. In 30 days, you could go, you could go from knowing nothing about computers, about 
playing the guitar, about speaking a foreign language, about learning any trade or or a craft that you had always wanted to participate in. Take a, take a lousy 30 days. If you can devote 24 waking hours a week to watching the innocuous, murderous, useless uh, dribble that passes for entertainment in the te- in, on television, you owe it to yourself to turn it off and find out what your own real inclinations are, what your real talents are, the things that you know you could be good at, that you might be the best in the world, but we did her away watching TV, and it's unbecoming to a civilized human being. It's time for us to grow up as a, as a human species, and it's very difficult to grow up as a species when television is pulling us back into the murderous, uh, barbaric ages of uh, when slaughter was popular and warfare was conducted with swords and murder murder was considered statecraft. This is unbecoming a modern human being and unbecoming a civilized human being and a fully evolved human beings. Don't presume to be evolved if you are entertained by violence. Violence is not entertainment. If you turn on your television and murder is about to take place and violence is about to uh, be at hand, turn it off. Press that little off button and go and do something that you would enjoy doing and, or something that you would enjoy learning. And that's what I would like to see happen. And, and you know, Matt, I'm going I'm to add something here. No, I'll, I'll use this mic. Um, you said uh, violence is not entertainment, but it, it sells. You know, they always say, sex cells, violent cells, these things that are highly stimulating, like you can't get enough of it. It's like you just want to see more. And, and not only television, but on the apps, like these video apps and different platforms, you scroll through, maybe watch t- 15 seconds of some ridiculous thing or some really sexy thing or some, some accident, someone falling, breaking their neck. And it is very entertaining. I mean, you, you want, once you watch one, you want to watch another one. It's hard to stop. So how do, how do you stop scrolling on the phone for hours? And the second thing I'd have to say is, what if you don't have enough time? What if someone says, man, I, I would love to learn how to play the piano. I don't have enough time. Mm-hmm. Well, if you turn off your television, first of all, you'd have an extra three hours a day, an extra, extra 24 waking hours a week, an extra 52 full waking days a year to devote to anything else in and in, into growing your fortune. You know, if you devoted three hours a day to brainstorming and putting together your good ideas and increasing your education to improve your earning ability, um, all of these things would bear a lot more fruit than watching violence on TV. And as far as how do you, how do you get away from it, because it is very engaging, it is very tentilating, well, it's designed that way because any taboo puts a person in a in a state of of a uh, of, of sort of fearful trepidation, a state of of uh, awaiting um, the other shoe to fall, awaiting the uh, waiting for the axe to fall, awaiting for the the skirt to fall. And whenever you're in that um, state of mind, you are susceptible to the advertising which will follow immediately after the murder. Now. The advertising that follows moments after, often at the most climactic moment, often at the pivotal moment in the story, uh, you are whisked away to uh, the product placements and ads that are paying for everything on television. You would have, Kobe Bryant would have been playing basketball at Venice Beach if it were not for the ads that run. You would have never heard of, of, uh, Michael Jordan or or Donald Trump or any of these other um, well-known media figures who are the reason that they pay them the big bucks is because they are so talented in what they do either in in talented in in a sport that it holds the attention of an audience 
long enough to run those commercials. Once you, once you have seen those commercials, you are forever imprinted upon by the logos and the commercial messages that they, that they are putting forth. A commercial on the, on the Super Bowl costs several million dollars for 30 seconds on the Super Bowl. It seems ridiculous to the average viewer that, that, that someone would be willing to, to pay that kind of money just to run for 30 seconds. But what you don't realize when you're sitting in your room watching that set, all over the world there are billions of other people with that same mesmerized look on their face looking at the same image you are. And the collective consciousness of those millions of people is even more powerful than the addition of those numbers, than the, than the numbers added incrementally. It's a collective consciousness that they have created, which is all a real thought form, a real thing. That commercial is able to, to be monitored in the physical minds of millions of people. This is, this is, uh, should be criminal in a way. <laughs> so, so Matt, do you think, um, like, let's say that I watch three hours a day, should I slowly wean that? Should I should I cut the addiction? Like, should I cut the dog's tail off one inch at a time, or is cold turkey the answer? Do you just have to go cold turkey, or can you slowly reduce your consumption? Or? Well, I think I think cold turkey is best in regard to this because, and it, it's like an addiction, like any addiction. The best way to to heal from any addiction, be it narcotics, be it alcohol is to stop and a human beings should have should not be a slave to anything they should not be powerless against anything you, a person should have enough self-control if they locate something in their personality that is a that they are doing habitually that they have no control over it this should be the focus of something that they should stop as soon as possible cold turkey Give it up and see, find out who you really are. The goal of life is to know thyself, is to know who you are, to appreciate your ancestral understandings that has, have been bred into you by your parents and your grandparents and their parents, dating back for thousands and thousands of years. You are the living representative of all of your ancestors embodied in a human body, drawing breath on earth, it's a miraculous situation we're in, incomprehensible to the human mind. It's not a, all the human mind can do is react to violence and taboos as they are depicted on, and uh, it keeps us mired in the lowest reaches of the human mind. The human mind has the ability to participate in its universal life. You are living under the stars, there's nothing separating us between you and the stars. There's no, no barrier between you and the stars. The farthest stars exist now. Now is faster than light. Light only travels at a given speed, 186,000 plus miles in a second. But now exists throughout the universe and you are here also, and you are part of it. The human mind can't fathom it. It cannot get to it. It is mired in the day-to-day -day mundanities of modern day life. However, the human consciousness is integrated 100%, 100, absolutely 100% into the entire universe. You are hardwired by your breath to, the, to all living things throughout the entire universe. And it should not be ignored and should not be traded for tentilation from sex and violence on television. Turn it off. Give yourself a break. Find, um, allow your natural mind to be restored, which it will, that's why you're encouraged to watch television constantly because a few days off of television your natural mind will return to you. You, they, you must, if you watch it every day, it's constantly distracted from 
your real natural mind and a little break from it 30 days will change your life profoundly thank you matt and uh for all of you that listened uh to this this uh this this impromptu lecture by matt uh thank you for listening and um challenge yourself see if you can take matt's uh 30 day challenge to eliminate your negative uh viewing habits cut out that tv cut out your social media pick one or two skills that you've always wanted to uh learn or like matt mentioned like piano or computer programming or maybe you want to learn spanish or the flute or guitar and if after 30 days um you haven't made enough progress and you feel like you wasted a bunch of time learning something useful you can go back to turning on the boob tube and wasting your life on social media (laughs) thank you guys for listening all right